Carlos, thanks. A bipartisan group of Wisconsin lawmakers is hoping for a repeat of 2014 when it comes to anti-drug legislation. NBC 15's Julissa Irizarry shows us what's being added to the ongoing heroin opiate preventive education or HOPE agenda. John and Lee, Representative John Nygren managed to get seven bills passed unanimously last year as part of his HOPE agenda. Now he's hoping to continue that streak with four new bills introduced today. This session we're going to address what has been seen as the root of, of this uh, addiction in most cases. This set of HOPE agenda bills tries to tackle the prescription drug problem. It starts but with a less uh, scary uh, drug, and it's one that oftentimes is found in our medicine cabinets. In one proposal, Nigren hopes to change the requirement for pharmacies to submit information to the Prescription Drug Monitoring Program, or PDMP, from seven days to 24 hours. There is a legitimate use for opiates in our society. We are not looking to limit that access. We are looking to limit illegal access uh, or addiction from taking place. It'll also require a doctor to review a patient's record when initially prescribing a monitored prescription drug. I see overdoses every day, um, and this is, I think this legislation is something that can, that can really help to, to change and stem the tide of, of maybe overgenerous prescriptive practices as well. The second bill would require law enforcement officers to report to the prescribing physician and the PDMP when a medicine container is found at a controlled substance scene. Right now, officers don't have to notify anyone. Representative Nygren and I have reached out to stakeholders in law enforcement and in the medical community to make sure that this is as strong as built. The third and fourth measures would gather data from pain management clinics and methadone clinics across the state. For methadone clinics, Nygren says there currently isn't a registry. And using the right pre premise and the right, with the light, right uh, follow through can, can be successful, but there's not a lot of information known about how these uh, methadone clinics are currently practicing. Nigerin says the bills will be circulated this week. They might make it to the floor later this year.